Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 is having crashing issue or it is not launching. It won't launch freezing and stuttering black screen. Many more issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart. For that, just go over here in this click. Click on this one and go for restart. Once restart is done, we have to go to the next one. That is all about we need to verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to select the game. Go over here. We need to select the game. Right click and go to the properties and go to local file. Click on verify integrity of game file. So game is around 45.1 GB. So there will be a lot of uh, files in this. So we have to wait this to reach 100%. And uh, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missed, We'll be having these kind of troubles which is called crashing and all those things so it is an important step we need to verify every single files of the game so if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will become completely fixed so once it is successfully done so hence we're in the middle of video we're going to skip this up so once it's successfully done just launch the game and try launching the game then you can see whether the issue is solved or not or if not we have to go to the next step that is launch the game from the installation folder instead of launch the game from steam try launch the game from installation folder for that we just need to go over here we have a shortcut so when we can uh, launch the game from uh, over here so just right click and go to the properties go to local file click on browse so we are very easily redirected redirected to the installation folder now from here just launch the game so if you look at the top there is steam steam apps common and we have to navigate to the folder and now launch the game instead of steam launch the game from installation folder this might work or else we have one more step that is we can go over here we can navigate to using the file explorer so we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using file explorer because down the road we need this step so just click on the file explorer and go to this pc go to local disk c now from here go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we just need to go to mobile side gundam battle operation 2 now from here select this one and launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or we have to move to the next step that is run the game as an administrator so hence we are in the middle of uh, hence we are in the launch uh, i mean in the installation folder i'm going to show this from here itself so just right click on the application go for show more options and go to properties go to compatibility and from here click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and try launch the game and this is what we have to do once after that see whether the issue is solved or not we have to move to the next step that is launch the game in the compatibility board but keep in mind for some users this step did work and for some it does not so if this is not working i'll be showing you that so just do like this so just try with this so right click over here and go to show more options and properties go to compatibility and over here if you can see the compatibility mode is there so just select this one run this program in compatibility mode set it to first windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok or it's not working change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game so this might work but some users this even end up in more issues so if that is the case just follow the same instruction show more options properties compatibility then just undo this step and keep run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game Moving to the next step is all about we need to set the windows language to english for that we just need to go over here in the search go for settings and go for time and language go for language and region go for add language and search for the language english and set the language and if the country or region is different so i'm from india so i have to select india you should not be selecting any other country just go back and make sure the date and time time zone is correct so time should be correct and time zone should be correct as well just turn this on and you have to turn this on and once after that just close everything go back and try launch the game next one is launch the game by pressing alt and tab so just click on the play button but but when you're clicking on the play button press alt and tab together on the keyboard and that's going to work for you as well for many games including dead space last of us even uh, the star wars it all works, so you can try this out just click on the play button and press alt and tab that's going to work for you as well once after that let's move to the next step that is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer and go to this pc and over here go to documents and if you find the folder over here on the game 
just delete the folder and you'll be losing all the progressions that is fine but just delete it and that's going to work for you for sure once after that go back and see whether the issue is solved or we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to allow the game to window security for that we just need to go over here in the search go for control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to 11 amp or future through windows defender firewall now from here we need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so just keep scrolling down and navigate to the game now from here we, ju we just need to do like this so from here we need to find the game Okay, so here as you can see the mobile suit golden battle operation is already added and make sure the private and public should be correct or else we'll be having the trouble. So just click if the game is not added, we can add it by default for that just click on allow another app go for browse. Now from here we have to go to this PC, now from here go to local disk C, keep scrolling down and go to program file x86, go to steam folder over here, now from here go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to go to mobile site go to mob app operation over here select this one and go for op open and add it. So if it's already there just add it and once after that try launch the game if that is not working we need to make a change that is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices. Some of you guys might be playing the game with the controllers connected if that is the case just remove everything remove every unwanted thing from the USB port including the Logitech wheels etc Porta's wheels etc remove everything. Once after that, launch the game. After game is successfully launched and if you wanted to play the game with the controller, just connect it back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay. For that, we just need to right click over here. Now from here, go to properties. Now make sure this is blank. So if this is selected, we will be having the issue. So just remove this. Once after that, try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to give the commands in the launch option. That is, we have to give the command that is first one is DX11 and try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, change this to DX12 and try launch the game as well. If both DX11 and DX12 is not working, just remove everything and try launch the game and that's what we have to do. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services and over here we just need to go for disable all go for apply and go for ok it might ask you for restart if you are doing the restart just go for this restart it is a mandatory one but we, here we are in the middle of video so I'm going to exit without restart for those users who are watching this you have to restart is a mandatory so just restart it and once after that try launch the game next one we need to close all the overclocking applications so for over here right click and go to task manager right now as you can see there are many applications running in the background so all these applications are utilized being in the background which is causing the crashing issue so over here if you keep scrolling down a little bit if you find anything like discord and if you find anything like reva tuner msa afterburner etc just remove everything from here in the background and that is an important step as well so you just need to remove everything and try launch the game most probably that's going to help you guys out next one is all about we need to try with this one that we need to update the graphics card for that i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia so the nvidia users can download from this and the amd users can download from this as well so the nvidia users you just need to go to this link and you have to give every detail like your product type product series product operating system language etc now go for start search you'll be getting this one so over here as you can see the driver version 531.98 which is released on 13th of May, that is yesterday is the latest version. So just download this one, install the .exe and restart the PC and try launch the game. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select the graphics, select every details over here and go for submit. Now you'll be getting the two options. If you're on Windows 11, just download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one and try launch the game. That means install it and restart the PC and try launch the game. That's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for go over here in the search go for graphics settings. Now from here as you can see there are many apps already games already done here it's already added same way we need to add it. So we just need to click on the browse now from here go to this PC now go to local to see now from here we have to go to program file x86 now from here go to next one that is steam folder now go to steam apps now from here go to common now just go to the folder. Now from here add this and go for add. So once it's already added, we need to make an important step that is just click on the option. Now from here we can see it is by default it is let windows decide. Now from here if it is on let windows side we need to change this to high performance because when we launch the game the graphics card will be utilizing in the background. So go for save and once save is being done just close this and go back and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. 
because uh, this did work out for many users so you can try this out next one is all about we need to try with increasing the virtual memory so that is all about we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings go for advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change and make sure this is blank and select the graphic uh, select the local disk where the game is in start and once after that go for custom size now give the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is 3 times the total RAM we need a calculator so first you need to multiply like this just multiply 32 GB that is my RAM so just multiply your RAM with 1024 now multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just paste it and move to the maximum size that is 32 GB into 1024 that brings you this and multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 so just multiply this as well now go for ok and try launch the game and once after that most probably the issue has to be fixed and even after trying still it's not working then we need to try with updating the windows go over here in the search go for settings and here we'll go to the windows update over here at the bottom make sure the windows is up to date and this is what you have to do for many users when they update the windows it did work out so you can try this out as well last and the least one is uninstall the game and reinstall it back further just go over here go to the manage uninstall the game for reinstalling back keep in mind this we need to do this that you should not be installing the game back on same local disk try changing the position of local disk and that's going to work for you as well so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with this one and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye